Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and today we are doing IXL R6 which is just finding the value of trigonometric functions using a calculator. So um, what you might have on hand is either a scientific or graphing calculator and depending on which one you have you might have different functionalities. Uh, all in all for a scientific calculator you, there might be a function button like a, a sine uh, function button or a cosine or you might have to click second, you know, the, the second button at the very top left of the keypad, and then another button in order to access the sign, and then type in your angles or your degree values right here. Uh, the other thing you have to consider is uh, when you are typing in numbers to your functions on your calculator, whether they are designated as degree values or radians makes a huge difference, okay? Uh, we should have talked about in class what the difference is between radians and degree values in terms of these functions, but just keep in mind when uh, you are going to have to specify. So for instance, this problem here is just asking you to find the value of cosine of 23 degrees. So I don't have a calculator in front of me, but Google is a wonderful, wonderful calculator. I quite literally just typed in cosine 23, then degrees, because again, I have to specify here, and it comes up with the answer. So uh, it says decimal rounded to the nearest hundredth, so that's two places after the decimal. So it's going to be 0 0.92. Okay, now cosine of 59 degrees. Back over here, just type in 59. Okay, uh, 0.515, we're going to uh, round that up to 0 0.52. 0 0.5. 5, 2. Okay, sine of 61, we'll come back and we will write sine of 60, what did it say, 2? No, 1. 61 degrees, and that's going to be 0 0.87. 0 0.87. Okay, so you get the idea. This is just practice on coming up with uh, these numbers from your calculator, okay, instead of using. Uh, the other methods we've been using before. This one is tangent of 27, so tan 27 degrees. That's going to be 0 0.51, so 0 0.51, and that works. Okay, so I'm going to jump and see if there's anything different here. There's a good chance we're not going to see too much. Still degrees, still degrees, and now it's asking for all three of them. Oh, now we do secant of 44 uh, degrees. So remember, secant is uh, inversely related to cosine. So secant of 44 degrees is just 1 over cosine of 44 degrees. But I don't think that matters. You can just go secant of, what was it, 44 degrees. And it's still going to give you 1.39. 1.39, okay, cotangent, et cetera, et cetera. So you can just plug them into your calculator or your internet browser, whatever's in front of you, and you're going to get your answer. You get up to smart score of 89 and it says find the value of X. So the key here is you're going to find what tangent of 66 is. So we'll go tangent of 66. Okay, and that's gonna be 2.8 to five, right? And so what you can do is, what you say is 2.25, and that's gonna be tangent of 66. Set that equal to your four X. And then to find X, you're just gonna divide both sides by four. And so now we're just going to divide whatever we got in our calculator by four. Oh, we can just go here. Divided by 4. And it's going to be 0 0.56. So that's just 0 0.56. And there we have it. Okay. Again, you can uh, do the function this way. Uh, tangent of 64 degrees. And you can either do it mathematically on here like I did er earlier and write it out, 
or you can realize to get x by itself in this equation, you just have to multiply both sides by five, meaning you're gonna just multiply your tangent of 64 degrees by five. So we'll go tangent of 64 degrees star five, and that's gonna be 10.25. 10.25. Okay, so that's where I'm going to stop the video. Stay safe, study hard, remember to use your resources, and I will catch you later for the next IXL tutorial video. Goodbye.